Hey everyone, today I'm diving into an exciting development in the steel industry. Tata Steel has just commissioned India's largest blast furnace at their Kalinganagar plant in Odisha's Jajpur district. This isn't just any ordinary update, it's a seismic shift in steel making. With a total investment of Rs 27,000 crore, Tata Steel's Phase 2 expansion at Kalinganagar is set to ramp up the plant's production capacity from 3 million tonnes per annum to a whopping 8 million tonnes per annum. The inauguration was led by TV Narendran, Tata Steel's CEO and Managing Director, alongside senior leaders of the company. Narendran highlighted that this new blast furnace will significantly enhance the plant's production capabilities. This means better meeting the demands of industries such as automotive, infrastructure, power, shipbuilding and defence. But it doesn't stop there. The expansion also allows Tata Steel to make strides in other sectors like oil and gas, lifting and excavation and construction. Essentially, this move is set to reshape the industrial landscape. Odisha now stands tall as the largest investment destination in India for Tata Steel, with over Rs 100,000 crore invested over the past decade. This investment not only strengthens Tata Steel's market position, but also cements its role as a leader in high-end, value-added steel segments. The new blast furnace is packed with cutting-edge features. With a volume of 5,870 cubic meters, it's equipped for a long campaign life and an eco-friendly design. This includes four top combustion stoves, the first in India, along with two preheating stoves to optimize fuel consumption in hot metal production. In a first for Tata Steel, they've installed a dry gas cleaning plant to maximize energy recovery from by-product gas. Plus, the world's largest top gas recovery turbine with a 35 MW power generation capacity will help recover an additional 10% of energy. They're even using an evaporative cooling system, a first for any Indian blast furnace, which optimizes space and lowers water and power consumption by around 20%. Tata Steel's commitment to sustainability shines through with their zero-process water discharge plan and rainwater harvesting efforts. Phase 2 of the Kalinganagar expansion also includes a pellet plant, coke plant and cold rolling mill, all integrating advanced technologies and sustainable practices. The plant is not just about industrial growth, it's a hub of socio-economic development for the region. Tata Steel has invested significantly in community development programs focusing on education, healthcare and livelihood opportunities, positively impacting over 200,000 people in the surrounding areas. Safety is paramount at Tata Steel, Kalinganagar. Their safety first culture ensures the highest standards are maintained, making it one of the safest steel plants globally. The Kalinganagar plant has also been recognized as a global lighthouse by the World Economic Forum and has received the prestigious Responsible Steel TM certification in 2024. These accolades underscore Tata Steel's commitment to sustainability and innovation. To sum it all up, Tata Steel Kalinganagar is setting new benchmarks in the steel industry. It's a testament to advanced engineering, sustainability and socio-economic growth. This new era in steelmaking is just the beginning. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more updates.